Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial. I recently came across this AP problem in one of my quizzes so I thought I'd go over it for you because I had to look up on how to do it. So first of all what you have to do is distribute the 2x2 2 to the x and the h here. So then we get tangent of 2x plus 2h minus tangent of 2x all over h. And next right here we have to use one of our identities way up here tangent of s plus t equals tangent of s plus tangent of t all over 1 minus tangent of s times tangent of t so our s is going to be 2x and our t is going to be 2h so we end up with limit as h approaches 0 of tangent of 2x plus tangent of 2h over 1 minus tangent of 2x plus tam times tangent 2h minus tangent 2x all over h so next, we have to get a common denominator. So we have our tangent 2x, and we just multiply by the bottom here, since that's the lowest common denominator. So we get this whole chunk, which we just combine into this one, and add the h from this bottom here to it. So then we get this just whole huge mess right here. And then the tangent 2x's cancel out right here. So we're left with limit of h approaches 0 of tangent 2h plus tangent squared 2x times tangent 2h all over h times 1 minus tangent 2h 2x times tangent 2h next we're going to be um, getting our tangent 2h out of here so we're left with limit as h approaches 0 of tangent 2h times 1 plus tangent squared 2x all over h times 1 minus tangent 2x times tangent 2h Next, we're going to use another trig, uh, identity, which is move our 1 plus tangent squared 2x, and that's going to equal secant squared of uh, your p, or middle value. So that's going to leave us with limit as h approaches 0 of tangent 2h times secant squared 2x, all over the bottom part, which hasn't changed yet. Now I move on, and we multiply everything by 2 the top and the bottom because we're going to be using it for a, a future identity as we move on here. So we just multiply 2 on the top and 2 on the bottom. And now this is why we multiply by 2. We have to take out this tangent of 2h and this and that is equivalent to sine of 2h over 2h all over cosine of 2h and this top part right here simplifies using a, one of our um, identities sine of x over x equal to 1 so that gives us 1 over cosine 2h so this leaves us with 2 secant squared 2x all over cosine of cosine oh, 2 se let me just throw limit of h approaches 0 of 2 secant squared 2x all over cosine 2h times 1 minus tangent 2x times tangent 2h move on and that now we put in our uh, h our h in there so our h is 0 we plug it in for all h's down here so we have 2 secant squared 2x all over cosine of 2 times 0 times 1 minus tangent 2x times tangent of 2 times 0 yeah a bunch of brackets so that will simplify down to this 2 secant squared 2x of cosine of 0 times 1 minus tangent of 2x times tangent of 0 and cosine of 0 is 1 so that's right here and 1 minus tangent 2x to tangent to 0 tangent of 0 is equal to 0 and then we just simplify some more 2 secant squared 2x is 1 times 1 minus 0 because 0 times anything is 0 so 1 minus 0 and that simplifies down to 2 secant squared 2x times 1 times 1 over time 1 and then that just simplifies 1 and anything over 1 is it is itself so then we finally have answer of 2 secant squared of 2x hope you liked it and that's about it see ya